Hi, it's Mike from Gear Diary, and we're here to take a hands-on look at Borderlands 2, the latest release from Gearbox, games published by 2K Games. Um, it's a sequel to the game, well, Borderlands 1, which had a bunch of choices. You get to choose character class, and you also get to uh, choose from millions upon millions of guns. So that is one of the features. Now when you start playing Borderlands 2, you get to choose from one of four different class characters. If you can choose a commando, this is kind of your basic soldier uh, archetype, then you would have uh, a stealth unit named Zero. He's got a sneaking suit and is good for um, kind of close-up stealth kills. You've got Salvador, who is, um, he's a berserker. He just is a mountain of, uh, of death, basically. And then you have Maya, who is um, kind of a, she's a, a long range, she's a, well, what class would you want to even want to call her? Um, so she, she can um, take out long range hits as well as having kind of like almost like a magic uh, user ability. So these are your four basic choices, and if you've ever played a role-playing game or anything like that, you know that they're kind of the standard archetypes of, you know, your, your muscle man, your all-around, your stealth, and your kind of ranged type. So upon starting a game, so we'll just start with that, and... As it comes up, and you start basically the same way every time. So, part of playing through, and you meet your claptrap, and you're sitting there, and you're discovering, hey, I'm not dead yet. Um, in the the lead-in trailer, uh, Jack or a phantom Jack blows up the train that you're traveling on, all four of you. And then when you come out of this, that's when the game actually starts. So you choose your character and you go. Along. So you can see we've got the game menu here, we've got our players here, and then just you get some news that's in there. So let's go back to the game. And we're going to enter right into the first boss battle of the game. And as was shown in the, the original game, they announce. Okay. Okay, so there we go. I've leveled up by defeating pretty much everyone. It also gives me health and shields. So. If you would, retrieve my ivory. Oh, and I apologize for saying wall sphincters. I say that a lot when I'm frightened. Let's see, so now I need to get back through. Get through the area. Now one of the things you might notice is the uh, the kind of cartoonish look. Everywhere you go, now one thing you notice here is there's a bunch of loot. My health is full, my ammo is full, so I can't, can't pick that up. Um, you have to look around your environment, look for things to 
and then they drop all this loot and that's really what this game comes down to is you're picking up loot you're trying to improve your weapons uh, try to improve your situation there's my good old buddy claptrap and he's your guide through most of this so what you see up here is your your uh, current mission and your guide point to get there so we need to get claptrap's eye and as to how we do that that will be immediately revealed to us hopefully i have no idea This is one of these. Okay, so now down here where bad guy fell, here we go. We've got retrieve claptrap's eye. Got my eye? Great! Now we just gotta find someone to put it back into me. Much as I'm sure you'd like to jam your fist into my skull, optic surgery is best left to professionals. My pal Hammerlock in Myersburg can fix me up. Okay, so now we have to find Sir Hammer's block. So this again is the way things tend to go through a large amount of the game. You have to deal with uh, the bad humor of Claptrap. You've got a, a mini map that'll show you where you're going. Um, Myersburg's on the other side of this Hyperion barge. What say we cut through it, chum? Sounds like a plan. Not surprisingly, we didn't get through the door. So well, now... it was nice knowing you. I hear getting eaten alive by bully mobs isn't such a bad way to go. Let me get that for you. Executing phase shift. So there we have the mysterious voice. You're welcome. Perks of being an artificial intelligence. I'm networked into almost everything on this planet. It's a long way to sanctuary. Please take whatever you need for the journey ahead. really want to take every bit of ammo. As you can see in the, the last little section there, I ran out of ammo. And the other thing that you notice I'm picking up is a fair amount of cash. So now I am pretty full. But cash will help you when you go to weapons lockers and so on. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Ah, here we go. So now this is one of the cool things. All of a sudden I've got a chance to a long range gun now. I can jump up a little bit closer and get a better look. You've got your damage, accuracy, fire rate, reload, and magazine. So these are now all comparing to your currently loaded weapon. So your damage is considerably higher, but your accuracy is much lower. It's a shotgun. Uh, fire rate faster, reload, but magazine, it's one at a time, so it's a single pump action. So, of course, I'm going to take it. So, there we go. So, I can switch weapons. And another. All right. And I am full. So, there we go. I have to head in there. So, as soon as I want to take my reward, which I'm going to get $10. Okay, ten dollars for helping out Claptrap. Now we have to get through the other door. And we've got your trail. This way! 
stop. into the next section. This element looks like, you know, your basic shooter. I think I want to switch weapons here. So, we've got toggles for just about everything. This is Mike Anderson from Gear Diary. Thanks for watching.